Thanks for watching Cheap Shot. We're 3D printing an AR-15 Magwell. This is the long version. The short version is in the description. Let's get started. All right, so we're doing something a little bit different today. This is not from uh, my GitHub or any repository that's already out there. This is going to be an item from Thingiverse. If you're unfamiliar with Thingiverse, it is just chocked full of people's 3D printing projects. It's not really, it's not gun oriented. I you know, believe you can't can even put guns on here. It's against the terms of service. But there's tons of stuff that you can find on here um, if you're just bored and want to print something. Like this, this is great. I have this for another project. That'd be cool to print. We, though, are going to print the AR-15 Magwell adapter. Um, so, you know, this obviously goes on AR-15. It has two little clips that I believe are optional on the back side. You see them here in one of these pictures. These right here. Screw those. I'm not going to print those. I don't really care. Um, you would download all files, and then it might be full of um, images, STLs. It's mostly STLs. If you do submit something on here, please put the PRT file, um, or the, I'm sorry, the step file. That way other people can customize it. But once we got a download, we'll come to Cura, and we'll figure out what we want to do to uh, print it. So it comes in there. Obviously, we don't want to print it like that. We can click our model. We can click this uh, little button right here, and we can select the face that we want to align with the build plate, or this bottom face right here. And that'll print fine right there with no support. So it's very nice. Now, some people might be confused with this overhang, how we can print this overhang with no support. Um, the reason we can is because it's going to come up. It's at an angle. If this were flat, that overhang probably wouldn't work very well, but because it's coming up like that, we're fine. We're going to print this in dynamic quality. We want to do five wall lines. We want it to be nice and solid. We'll do five top and bottom two. Infill density, we don't want to do any infill, and I'll show you why. And I'm talking zero infill. Um, between our walls is just a little bit of space. And for me, if you have retraction enabled and you're doing, you're going in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out, <laughs> Okay, I'm getting demonetized. Um, your, your your filament's not gonna be able to heat up. And then you're gonna have a lot of jams unless you slow that way down. Uh, to be honest, it's just no infill. This part is not gonna benefit from the infill, so it don't really matter. We're gonna do 205, I'm gonna use an e sign. I'm not really liking it. I'm getting lots of defects. Um, I normally print a 200 hatch box. It's a little bit better at 205, so maybe I'll try 210 next time. Uh, but I got a filament for free, so it doesn't matter. And print speed 60, I uh, have my retraction enabled, no support, we don't need that. I always do a brim and uh, I just clean it up. And uh, yeah, we'll print this and it'll print great. So cue the print montage. So, got a lot of stuff left on the brim, but anyone who knows me knows I love my deburring tool. And it makes quick work of it. I'll clean that up real nice. The only thing that's hard sometimes is the edges can be a little hard, but you can be all right. You ain't gonna cut your finger or anything. And we'll call that acceptable. Let's grab a, let's grab a rifle. 
So we got this one. We still got three different foregrip on it. And we'll just slide her right in. Oh, that was silky smooth. Silky smooth. All right, let's play around with it. So we got the Magwell printed. Uh, I just slipped it on. I didn't use the grub screws because mostly I don't have any. Um, but it, it feels tight enough where I'd keep it on there without the grub screws. Uh, and overall functionality, I've never actually used like a, a flared Magwell before. Um, I thought that you could just you know kind of throw it in there and it kind of guide it in. It doesn't really work like that. I'm not sure if a, a better one would or one that's commercial. So if you've ever used the flared Magwell for a rifle, please let me know in the comments. But I have found that you kind of get in there and just kind of wiggle around it and it'll go in, you know? I guess not. Um, you know, it's going to take a little bit of getting used to. Uh, so honestly, I think you'd be better off just training to just get it in that magwell uh, to begin with. Um, but other than that, if you're looking to test this out and, you know, see if you like a flare magwell, I think this is a great design print. He did a really, you know, he, she, whoever it is, did a really good job. Their logo on the front, you know, I wouldn't like a logo. They made it. They can do whatever the hell they want. So overall, uh, overall, I like it. I think it's pretty good. So this will be in the GitHub. If you like this, you can also find it on Thingiverse. Thanks for watching Cheap Shot.